Will the Supreme Court shut down NVIDIA? Also, Apple has just closed a major division. Today is a veritable news bonanza. Let's get started. By the way, Shamal says to like and subscribe. So let's start with Apple. Apple stock has skyrocketed recently. Why? Two letters, AI. But first, Apple's actually working on new designs for their many products, their next iPhone, the Apple Watch, and the MacBook Pro. They're working to make them, make them thinner. You know, like the Stephen King no novel, thinner. <laughs> so yeah, estimates are that the iPhone's gonna be 25% thinner than the previous year's model. That is a major modification to the design, and it's the biggest modification to any iPhone since OLED in 2020. By the way, OLED's a new type of screen. It's got better colors, better blacks. Um, so anyway, also big news for Apple. They are discontinuing their buy now, pay later service in the United States. Um, that is actually a major piece of new news. Um, so what's going on here? Apple said Monday it will discontinue its buy now, pay later service in the United States as it launches a new loan program. Users will be able to access installment loans offered through debit, credit, debit cards, and lenders when checking out with Apple Pay. So basically, they're shutting down their Buy Now Pay Later service, and in its place, they're going to let you select which Buy Now Pay Later service you want it to use. So this will help services such as Affirm, for example. So this is a major shift in strategy for Apple. So why would Apple make this change? Oh, another change about a year ago is exiting the car division. That was cost them a billion dollars per year. So why make these changes? Why is Apple refocusing its strategy? You know, it's a huge company. They make boatloads of money. They have unlimited resources. Or do they? So yeah, to quote Steve Jobs, do not try to do everything. Do one thing well. So what happened was when Steve Jobs was rehired at Apple, and Apple was almost bankrupt, what did Steve Jobs do? He slashed almost everything. He slashed many projects that he deemed not financially viable. Um, so many things he cut. He even, he even cut out third-party sellers of Macs. Third-party Macs. He eliminated their entire companies. And he, what did he did? He focused the company on the iMac, which was actually a successful product. Then they switched the iPod, then the iPhone. You can see where I'm going. So they, he focused on one product. He spent several years focusing on one product and then spent several years focusing on the next product and then several years focusing on the next product. And each one was a new revolution. Like the iPad, that came out, it revolutionized MP3 players. The iPhone came out and it bankrupted Nokia. It bankrupted Nokia. It took over the phone market and it took all these new entrants um, to transition to smartphones in order for them to stay competitive. Now, everybody has a smartphone. Everybody. So that's the big thing for him is to just focus your efforts on one thing. So what's the new thing for Apple? Well, I'll tell you what. It's not the Vision Pro. It stands for AI. It's actually clever marketing. It's called Apple Intelligence, which they revealed last week. AI for the rest of us. It's actually clever marketing. Apple intelligence, AI. I like it. I like it a lot. So what did they introduce? Well, number one, you can write with intelligent new tools ev um, everywhere words matter. So that's, you know, basically content generation, kind of like chat GPT. Actually, they're leveraging OpenAI for this. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Okay, so the three biggest companies in the world, what are they? They're Apple, Microsoft, and NVIDIA. All three are tied at $3.2 trillion in market capitalization. What do they have in common? Well, let's just say this. Apple's leveraging opening open AI to power their artificial intelligence streams here, which I'm about to go into. Open AI is tied to Microsoft. And where does open AI get their chips? NVIDIA. So all three companies are linked. They're all synced up. What can I say? So anyway, yeah, there's a lot of new innovations that Apple's doing in the AI front, and they're leveraging their um, collaboration with OpenAI pretty extensively in this. 
Um, so yeah, you got um, content generation, you got writing focus and communication, you got image generation. What I actually kind of like is a new thing called Gen Moji. You can create little emojis for you. I like that actually. It's pretty cute. Custom memory movies, expressive images, all these sorts of things. A whole new Siri application. Um, and privacy. So every time you use, every time it goes to open AI to generate something for you, it's going to ask you if you want to do that. So that's the privacy that comes with that. So that is great news there. And yeah, that's what they're focusing on. And that's where we're going to make their money. Moving on to NVIDIA. Oh yeah, back to Apple once more. That's why Apple stock skyrocketed last week. It just skyrocketed back to, you know, $3.2 trillion dollars. And actually, I think they recently overtook Microsoft to regain the title of the world's biggest company. Okay, moving on to NVIDIA. Just look at this. Look at this chart. This is a one-year chart from, like, what is that, $30 per share at the beginning of this year to $130 per share today? No stock does this. NVIDIA is a $3.2 trillion company. It's trading like a penny stock. Look at this. This is absolutely insane, the, the performance of NVIDIA stock. Insane. 52-week range, $39.23 to $133.73. Tell you what, anybody that doesn't own NVIDIA stock, don't you wish your company put up these numbers? Just say. <laughs> okay, so what's new with NVIDIA? The U.S. Supreme Court to your NVIDIA bed to scuttle shareholder lawsuit. So what's going on there? The U.S. Supreme Court agreed on Monday to hear a bid by NVIDIA to scuttle a securities fraud lawsuit accusing the AI chipmaker of misleading investors about how much of its sales went to the volatile cryptocurrency industry. So basically what happened was AI got sued by shareholders. Happens a lot. Happens to every company. So that's one of the reasons companies don't want to become public is for reasons like this. It's just kind of crazy, I think. So anyway, it's based off of claims that apparently NVIDIA made in 2017 and 2018 regarding crypto cryptocurrencies and how much revenues it made on cryptocurrencies and how much it relied on cryptocurrency at the time. And obviously now it's not really an issue anymore. Nobody cares about how much sales NVIDIA makes to cryptocurrency. Right now it's how much sales NVIDIA makes to AI. How much H100s can NVIDIA make to power the AI boom at Apple, at Microsoft, at Tesla, at everybody. OpenAI, everybody is leveraging artificial intelligence and everybody is purchasing chips from NVIDIA to power this revolution. Because AI... I think it's going to have a um, revenues greater than that of Apple. It's going to have a huge revenue. I think over $400 billion within 10 years. Okay, so going back to this lawsuit, it's nonsense, I think, and it is a complete waste of the, of the Supreme Court's time. Don't you think so? Let me know in the comments. What do you think the Supreme Court should do? Should they waste their time on junk like this? Is this really the, what the Supreme Court is for? I think not. It's a complete waste of their time. And they have much better things to worry about than stupid stuff like that. So anyway, the plaintiffs in a 2018 lawsuit accused NVIDIA and top top company officials of violating a 20, 30, 1934 act by making statements in 2017 and 2018 that falsely downplayed how much NVIDIA's revenue growth came from crypto-related purchases I don't care. At the bottom, you can see NVIDIA in 2022 agreed to pay $5.5 billion to the U.S. authorities to settle charges that it did not properly disclose the impact of crypto mining on its gaming business. So we're talking about you know, just a couple million dollars to a company worth $3.2 trillion. Eh, who cares? Now, this is something that does matter. NVIDIA to get 20% weighting and billions investor demand while Apple demoted a major tech fund. So what does this mean? An ETF essentially repositioning um, its portfolio and part of its repositioning is actually a major sell in one stock and a major purchase in a second stock. So let's get into this. 
Microsoft NVIDIA will likely have a weight of around 20% in this 21% in this tech ETF, while Apple will be down to about 4.5%. Um, the rebalance will be in effect for one quarter, even if Apple outperforms NVIDIA significantly ahead of the official date. The ETF has about $71 billion in assets under man man management. I can't talk today. So a 15 percentage point change in the fund equates to $10 billion. So this is a big deal for NVIDIA. It's a $10 billion purchase of their stock. So what's going on here? NVIDIA's blistering rally will force a major technology exchange traded fund to acquire more than $10 billion worth of shares of the chip giant cutting back dramatically on Apple. So they're selling Apple, they're buying NVIDIA is what they're doing, and the fund is called XLK. So basically the um, purchase is gonna happen this Friday. It's gonna happen soon. So yeah, if you wanna get in, I would get in before the fund purchases. Because <laughs> the more of these funds and institutions purchase NVIDIA, the less they'll be floating for retail shareholders. So that's the big thing there. So for the XLK shake, shake up, Microsoft is going from 22% to 21%. NVIDIA is going from 6% to 21%. Apple is going from 22% to 4.5%. I wonder why they're cutting their Apple stake. I'm kind of curious. I didn't see it in the article. Um, tell you what, if you know, let me know, let me know in the comments. I don't know why they're cutting their Apple stake. So that said, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.